Welcome, welcome guys. It's Pixelated Apollo. Thanks for stopping by and this is turn number 10 of the Teutonic Hot Seat campaign and remember that I lost my files back when my computer died and I have to reenact re this video. So I'm going to get it as close as I can to the first time I played it. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so the Holy Roman Empire, they wanted map information for map information. We will go ahead and accept that. Very nice. And the Mongols want to be allies in map information, and we would be happy to accept that. Very nice. So, made some good progress there with neighboring settlements. We're fourth overall. Fourth in military, fourth in financial, third production population we're third so not too bad we're kind of in the middle right now there we go allies and we've got a lot of gold 4,000 pretty nice so uh again i have no interest in having a war with poland uh they're very powerful and that would not be smart of me right now i'm trying to team up with poland and take out the um take out the teutonic order so let's go ahead and uh move this army this way through the trees trying to look for uh, some Teutonic uh, neighboring uh, settlement here I don't know if this was taken over by Poland or not um, I don't know it says neutral settlement so I think it's Poland's army they're upset because I have troops in their land but I explained to them that you know I'm, I'm gonna be marching through here all right, and then, I've, oh yeah, see, they, they completely just wiped out the Teutonic Order. They backstabbed them. So that's definitely going to help the war effort. And we've got our force in here. We've got another force in here. So I think what I'm going to do is take this army and march north. It's going to take a couple turns, but we definitely need this settlement. Definitely, definitely. All right, and then I guess what we can do is focus on buildings. Uh, let's get my priest over here, just see what's going on. Okay, so the Teutonic Order, they still have this settlement. But like I said in the last video, I'm not interested in this settlement because it's really not going to bring anything to me. It's worth nothing, basically. So, all right, let's go through the buildings and see what we can build. Um, we definitely need more mounted arches, so let's invest in that. So here we go, we'll get the shrine that will get us some mounted archers. Um, over here we could use more cav, we can always use more cav. More armies, so yeah, I'm gonna come crashing down here. So you know what, let's actually go ahead and move this force. So we'll send everybody except like two units three units so we'll go marching down we'll attack next turn uh, i don't really have any artillery so we need to get the catapult over here get them marching there we go oh we've got another catapult over here probably should send them over as well could use the catapults that's for sure and we need more spies, so let's go ahead and invest in some spies. Where can we do that? Where can we do that? There's a spy. There's a spy we can recruit. Here, let's. this will be a lot quicker if I just do this. There we go. Much faster. Here's another spy we can get. Um, over here, this is a pretty nice settlement. We can get a lot of nice military units. But again, we have no interest in fighting a war against Legion or the Mongols. I mean, they're pretty close to this front here against the Teutonic Order. So maybe I should recruit a couple units here. And that's really all our gold. So let's check the list of, of agents. Alright, we've got a priest here. We're going to keep him here. Keep the uh, conversion going. Got our merchant there. Another priest. We'll leave. Uh, I guess we'll move him like here just to see what's going on. Alright. Got another priest in the north. We want to send him down this way. And 
Got a diplomat. So we'll send him up north here. I want to send him over to Norway and stuff. And then we've got our spies, so let's move him a little closer. Some very good spies. So we've got a spy in here. Let's see if we can get him inside here. Yes! Was successful. Very, very lucky there. So we got a spy inside Teutonic Order settlement, so that will help us. Maybe we'll get a chance to open up the gates. And then we have another spy in here that we'll send down this way, get him moving. And uh, I think that's all the agents. Military forces here. Faction leader. Very nice. Look at that chivalry. Very nice chivalry. Uh, though he's not in the war front. <laughs> because uh, there's no war over here. So pretty peaceful this situation. Because the Teutonic Order, they're on the run. And... Um... Yeah, I think we're going to be able to take them out with the help of Poland. Teutonic Order, their days are over. They're numbered. Nice. Increased traits. Nice. Increased traits. That's always good to see. Always good to see. And over here in these settlements, we could probably upgrade the settlement, but we don't have money. Uh, we're going to make 3904 next term. Financially, we're doing all right. Not too bad. But, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. I mean, we can look around and look at the strategy here. I think the Holy Roman Empire is either at war with Denmark or Norway. I don't remember, but Norway and Denmark, they're very similar. But, um, yeah, they're at war. There's a little situation going on there. I think they're allies with Poland, but you, I don't know. After what Poland did to the Teutonic Order, it's hard to trust Poland. So, uh, you know what, guys? I am just going to tell you what I'm planning. <laughs> Because at this point, it's safe to say because it's already happened. So let me tell you what I'm planning here. I've talked to the Teutonic Order and I felt kind of bad for him because that was such a cold, cold backstab. I was like, you know what, Teutonic Order, let's cease fire. Let's have some peace and I'm going to help you fight off Poland. So this army right here, they're, they're not going for the Teutonic Order. They're going for Poland and... I have to punish Poland for what they did. That Even if they backstab my enemy. And, and Warrior Sparta has been my enemy since the very beginning of this campaign. But I would be happy to fight for him and protect him and help him regrow his kingdom. Just because of that backstab. So, uh, yeah, Poland's very, very powerful. And I don't think the Holy Roman Empire is interested in attacking them. So I might be having a 1v1 war against them and it's going to be quite the war it's going to be very very important that i beef up my military and i start pushing poland back and i need to quickly get to the teutonic order and save them before poland takes them out so uh yeah that's that's my plan um so uh <laughs> i guess that's everything i guess uh i guess yeah We'll go ahead and end this episode. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this war against Poland will go smoothly. I promise you in future videos, they will be quite longer with more battles. So stay tuned. And uh, one more time, thanks for watching. And we'll go ahead and end the turn. There we go. Teutonic Order, you are up next. And once the next uh, video will be turn 11. I'll see you guys later.